welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, or can you see, I have yet again something from Adidas. Let's open up the box and see what we got because today we have my favorite Adidas Terex. Yes, but not just any regular Adidas Terex. This is Adidas Terex Swift R3 GTX. Yes, now I have reviewed the R2 version on this channel, if you're interested, check out the review, it's still here. And I have to say, I was really, really impressed. Can R3 be any better? Well, let's find out in this review. Currently 130, well, 128 to be exact, uh, on Amazon. The link is in the description below. Also, the Backcountry link is in the description below. Sometimes Backcountry has better prices. They have some awesome discounts if you can catch those discounts. Overall, absolutely fantastic comfort level, excellent outsole. Cannot go wrong with Gore-Tex waterproofing, but if you really are serious about buying this boot, or shoe, actually shoe in, in this case, uh, make sure to stick around for the whole review because this review is not a regular shoe review. No, this review is specifically for my ultimate survival shoe section. Basically, if this wasn't just your any uh, regular hiking shoe review or trail running shoe, whatever you're using this for, but something bad happened and you were wearing these and now you are surviving in these. You had to walk for miles non-stop, you had to sleep in this without taking the move, you had to run at some point, fight, climb, I don't know, do whatever that is necessary to survive. Would these be good for your survival? Or would they get you killed? Well, how do we make the judgment? We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's begin with the criteria number one, comfort level. And in order to test the comfort level of all the boots and shoes that I review on this channel, I do a three mile run and then a five mile walk and then I continue wearing the shoes for the rest of the day for a total of eight hours without any pauses, without taking them off. And like I said, the comfort level is very, very impressive. Now, there are a few factors that contribute to that comfort level. Let's start with the first one, the weight. Now, this is size 10, and I'm estimating this to be about 13 and a half ounce. Let's see if I'm any close to reality. Not really, 15.1, definitely above what I estimated 15.1 now I have to say 15 for a waterproof shoe that is not you know not the mid-size but the low shoe with as much of the protection as these offer with waterproofing definitely is the golden standard now you don't really want to go above that 15 ounce the more you go above that 15 ounce the heavier it gets the less under the 15 ounce obviously the lighter it makes sense, right? Wow, crazy information here. <laughs> but the 15 ounce, I would say for something like this, is just that golden min middle and Adidas got it right there in almost the very 15.1, pretty good. There are a few other factors that contribute to the comfort level. One of them would be the flexibility of the outsole. Here, as you can see, it's definitely flexible, not flimsy, so you can do some, uh, I mean, the outsole is, is great. We'll talk about the outsole later, but you can do some serious, serious stuff with uh, these shoes. We will discuss that later. But whenever it comes to the comfort from the flexibility, you definitely have that because there is enough flexibility. Also, the creasing spots here are very soft, so no pressure points at all. Let's move on to the inner sole. I'm gonna attempt to take it out. See if I can do that. It's uh, not as easy as it looks. Actually, that is pretty easy. Just my fingers are dead from climbing the other day for three hours straight. But here it is. I have to say, the inner sole on these is just fantastic. I did just know how to make a good inner sole. Look at that. Very nice defined heel bed. Very nice defined arch support. Overall. Overall, very nice and cushioning. The only real problem with this in inner sole is that it's so bright, my camera cannot handle the color. It's showing it as orange, but it's actually, well, it is kind of orange slash pink, I don't know, whatever. Excellent, excellent inner sole if you're not looking at it because you might go blind how bright it is. <laughs> but let's move on to the padding. All right, the padding in the tongue, very nice padding. In the shaft, pretty good. In the heel, very nice. Overall, on the stiffer side, overall, the, the shoe feels more on the stiffer side. So if you prefer a little bit more firmer 
feel you're gonna really appreciate this going through the whole shoe there's not much padding but it's very soft material here anyway so you really don't need any any kind of padding at the front it's very hard toe box so very important to get them in the right size overall comfort level is very very good like i said if you appreciate that firmer feel you're really gonna like these shoes let's move on to the criteria number two now proofing and protection so proofing wise <laughs> Gore-Tex waterproofing, the best waterproofing technology that you can get. A lightweight, breathable, just fantastic. Ask any outdoors, you know, enthusiast, they will tell you, yeah, go with Gore-Tex. I personally don't really care that much for a waterproofing shoe per se, just because as you can see, I mean, the shaft is low already, right? This is a shoe, what do you expect? But the waterproofing lining here is even lower, right? So you don't really have much clearance. If you're crossing the creek, chances are the water will get in inside and that's it. All your waterproofing is out of the window. But there are some people who like it. If you do, well, there you go. You have yourself a waterproof shoe. Protection wise, there is a very nice toe cap over here um, kind of a reinforcement as you can see the shape of it very good definitely will help you on a rocky road you know light light some light mountaineering stuff um, very very good it's still very soft toe box don't drop anything obviously you don't have any protection in the ankles because it's a shoe and then your heel is reinforced uh, plenty of protection from the outsole but we'll talk about the outsole later let's move on to the criteria number three for now out um, quality and the design features Quality wise, Adidas Terex, they know what they're doing. Um, I really have not had anything bad from Adidas Terex yet. They definitely know what they're doing whenever it comes to the outdoor stuff. This specific one has over 1,300 reviews on Amazon. Check out the Amazon, link is in the description below. So people do like these quite a lot, yes. Now, whenever it comes to the design features, here I talk about the lacing system. Ah, I don't like this lacing system. It's thin, flat, extra thin, extra flat, strings not textured. I'm not a fan of these. They work, okay? They save weight, all right? So they're not bad at all. You can use them, but not my favorite. Okay, let's move on to the criteria number four now. Outsole, traction and stability. Okay, now, whenever it comes to testing the outsole, whenever I do the run and the walk, I do it on a variety of different surfaces, just anything you can think of, wet sand, dry sand, wet grass, dry grass, rocky road, trail surface, concrete, and the regular road, asphalt, whatever, tarmac, just a whole bunch of different things, flat shiny surfaces. This handles well on pretty much everything. It does get a little bit slippery on the wet grass because these grooves are rounded off some of them on adidas terex you will notice they are rounded off not a big deal still has plenty of aggression but not as aggressive as it could have been if these grooves were not rounded off but overall it's really really good as you can see it's continental yes the same brand that makes tires overall very good outsole the quality of the rubber is just superb it's really really nice uh, but the roundness of these grooves ee, i'm not a fan of that another thing that i wanted to point out because this is ultimate survival shoe review it does get and, and i mean part of the survival very important to be stealthy right it is pretty loud on flat shiny surfaces like marble tile yes it squeaks quite a lot so if you're trying to be stealthy you might not be able to do that with this outsole but overall this is really good if you're using this as a hiking shoe or a trail running shoe you're gonna be very happy with this outsole but let's move on to the criteria number five temperature obviously no point to talk about no winter nothing this is not insulated nothing this is a shoe okay so three season fantastic in the hot summer days very nice very breathable Again, Gore-Tex usually with the waterproofing, you kind of sacrifice that breathability. Now with Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex is still very nice and breathable. Let's move on to the criteria number six, sizing. These are true to the size, but I would recommend getting half size bigger just because the toe cap here is pretty hard, the very front. When you're going downhill, you don't want your toe touching this very front because you will get fatigued pretty quickly. Let's move on to the criteria number seven, now balance of application. So if this really was your ultimate survival shoe, well, something bad happened and you are surviving in these, would this be good? I think that is a pretty good option and uh, not just the comfort, yes, comfort is great, yes, variety of different terrains it can handle, yes, all great. I mean, 
you even have kind of this unintended but kind of a <laughs> cool uh, piece here that will be good if you are uh, uh, rappelling down the rope all right so yeah kind of unintended but there you go right uh, but i think the best um, quality of this is not even the waterproofing not the protection but the fact that they look very very uh everyday-ish right you can wear these to the gym you can wear these to work if you if you're okay looking sporty at work you can wear this on a date if you're okay looking sporty on a date right this is like an everyday sneaker for the most part minus the outsole but again it's it's so discreet that you can't really tell how aggressive the outsole is and that's great um, and, and in addition to this if you click on the link in the description below for amazon there's like just at least like 10 different colors color variation of this so you if, if if black is too aggressive you can find something that looks even less aggressive than this and that's really good because why you know you can you can wear it every day and you know survival situations they don't happen you know you don't prepare for you prepare for survival situation but you don't know where when it happens and whenever it happens if something you're wearing already on your feet that's most likely what you will end up in surviving and if you're wearing these good for you because now you have well comfort waterproofing variety of different terrains no problem you can walk through and uh yeah overall a good quality shoe compared to something that looks aggressive looks like a survival shoe or boot but it's in your house and now you have to kind of go there and and change let's move on to the very last criterion here criterion number eight the price 128 dollars so 130 bucks on amazon like I said, check out the backcountry link. You might find a better price. Sometimes they have pretty good deals, 30, 40% off. Yes, uh, sometimes if you can catch it, add it to your wish list if you want to save money and you know wait around a little bit. Um, $130 is definitely a decent price. It, I mean, it's pricey, okay? You know, with Gore-Tex, that's really, that's really what you get. Gore-Tex is pretty expensive. Uh, but then again, you have the Continental outsole. So yeah, all the stuff stack up 130 is definitely on the pricier side is it worth it yeah i think it is worth it well you know to me personally like i said if i'm buying shoes i'm not gonna get a waterproof shoe i'm getting a mid-size boot then i'm gonna get a waterproof um gore-tex obviously hopefully um but in a shoe i i feel like that's overpaying for something you don't really necessarily need um in a shoe $430, yes, you can definitely find plenty of things um, out there in that price range from Salomon, from La Sportiva. There's some good stuff, trail running shoes from Saconi that are much cheaper than that. So I've done plenty of reviews, check them out. Maybe you will find something even better than this. But let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think about this shoe? What do you think about this review? If you have any requests for reviews, Drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them. Thank you very much for watching. Always appreciate your time. This was Ultimate Survival Gear. God bless you and I'll see you in the next video.